Keeping up all-star stats year after year is like trying to juggle flaming baseballs. Tricky and definitely not for the faint of heart. Just ask Corbin Burns and Emmanuel Clause. The only two pitchers who managed to pull off an all-star repeat in 2023 and 24. It's such a rare feat that it's almost like finding a unicorn in a bullpen. Now, when a player's numbers start to slide faster than a base runner trying to steal home, it's not always the end of the road. Thanks to StatCast's fancy metrics, we can peek under the hood and figure out who's been hit by the bad luck bus and who's just plain struggling. So here's the scoop. We've rounded up a few all-stars from last year who've hit a speed bump in the first half of 2024. From batting slumps to ERA explosions, we're diving into what went wrong and how these sluggers can bounce back stronger than ever after the break. It's time to turn those dugout frowns upside down and get back in the game. Let's start with a player who stormed onto the MLB scene, earning all-star and silver slugger honors in both of his first two seasons, Julio Rodriguez. This guy helped the Mariners break a 20-year playoff drought in 2022, which, in Seattle, is basically like winning the World Series. By the start of the 2024 season, MLB Network had him pegged as the number 10 player in the game. Not too shabby for a guy who's still getting carded at Rated R Movies. But here we are, in year three, and it's been a bit of a roller coaster. While Julio's still a wizard in center field, his bat seems to have taken a bit of a vacation. He's clocked only 10 home runs through 97 games, a stark contrast to the 60 bombs he launched over the previous two seasons. Now, before Mariners fans start panic buying Bring Back Ichiro t-shirts, there's a silver lining. Despite the power outage, Rodriguez's expected stats are almost a mere image of what he posted in 2023. Remember last year when he shook off a sluggish 721 OPS in the first half of the season and went full beast mode after the break with a 941 OPS? The potential for another second half surge is definitely there. So, can Julio flip the switch again? Mariners fans sure hope so. And if history is any indicator, it might be time to buckle up for another thrilling ride. While Ronald Acuna Jr. snagged the NL MVP last year, Matt Olson was the silent powerhouse behind the Braves juggernaut offense. With 54 home runs and 139 RBIs, Olsen wasn't just good. He was fourth in the NL MVP voting and practically needed a personal sledgehammer to knock his way into the lineup. Replicating that kind of production was going to be like trying to recreate grandma's secret pie recipe. You might get close, but it's never quite the same. This season, Olsen's struggle has been real. His 405 slugging percentage and 714 OPS are career lows, kind of like finding out your favorite pie now tastes like cardboard. The culprit? A career-high 29.4% chase rate. Olsen's been swinging at more bad pitches than a rookie on his first day in the big leagues. Hugh Jackson Holiday. Three and two. How about that? Just kidding. That kid's going to be fine. But back to Olsen. This impatience has spiked his strikeout rate to the highest since 2020 and tanked his walk rate to an all-time low. Maybe slowing down and focusing on a little choke and poke could help Olsen turn things around, but only time will tell. Oh, Corbin Carroll, what a roller coaster you've been on. After snagging the NL Rookie of the Year award and landing a sweet fifth place in the NL MVP voting in 2023 with those 25 homers and 50 steals, you had us all believing you were the next big thing. Fast forward to this season, and well, let's just say things have been a bit puzzling. Imagine going from a 285 batting average and a 506 slugging percentage to a 212 average and a 334 slugging percentage. Ouch. And those power stats, only five homers and 18 steals in 94 games. It's like the baseball gods decided to play a prank on you. But here's the real kicker. Carroll's actually been more patient at the plate this year with a lower strikeout rate and a higher walk rate than last year. So how does that add up to a sophomore slump? It's all about the quality of contact, my friend. His barrel rate plummeted from 7.6% to 3.8%, and his average exit velocity dipped from 90 miles per hour to 87.9 miles per hour. Even his expected slugging percentage took a nosedive from 441 to 339. It's almost like his bat went on a diet and lost all its muscle. So Corbin, here's to hoping you find that magic again. Because if 2023 was any indication, we know you've got it in you. Now, how about bringing back that mojo and making the rest of 2024 one to remember?
Adolis Garcia, the powerhouse right fielder for the Rangers, had a 2023 season that was the stuff of dreams. With a personal best of 39 home runs and 107 RBIs, plus helping the Rangers snag their first World Series win, Garcia was practically floating on cloud nine as he headed into 2024. But now, it's like he took a nosedive off that cloud. His current batting line of 211, 277, and 405 has left fans scratching their heads. Career lows across the board? Come on, Adolis, what happened? Well, here's the silver lining. Garcia hasn't lost his touch entirely. He's still capable of obliterating balls, sitting in the 89th percentile for barrel rate with 17 homers. The power is there, folks, but there's more to the story. One interesting twist is his newfound aggression at the plate. Garcia's first pitch swing rate has skyrocketed to 46.6%, a huge leap from last year's 33.1%. Swinging at nearly half of the first pitches he sees? Bold move, Adolis. But this might be biting him back as his walk rate has dropped from 10.3% in 2023 to 7.4% this year. So, Adolis, maybe ease up on that first pitch frenzy and find your groove again. We know you've got the talent. Now let's see that batting average and on-base percentage catch up. Pablo Lopez, the Twins pitching ace, is having one of those bizarre seasons that makes you question everything you know about baseball stats. Last year, he was sitting pretty with a 7th place finish in the AL Cy Young voting, making his 4th straight year with an ERA in the threes. Fast forward to this season, and his ERA has ballooned to 5.11. What gives? Here's the kicker. Lopez's expected ERA is a mere 3.43, the third lowest of his career. Among the 136 pitchers who faced at least 250 batters this season, the gap between his expected and actual ERA is the fifth largest. It's like the baseball gods are playing a cruel joke on him. Now, let's talk predictive stats. Strikeouts and walks are solid indicators of a pitcher's performance, and Lopez boasts a stellar 5.26 strikeout to walk ratio, ranking eighth among qualified pitchers this season. Since ERA became an official stat in 1913, no qualified pitcher has ended a season with an ERA of five or higher and a strikeout to walk ratio of at least five to one. So, Lopez is either on track to make some very unfortunate history, or he's poised for a major second half turnaround. So, Twins fans, don't lose hope just yet. If the numbers have any say in it, Lopez might just flip the script and give us a strong finish to the season. Keep an eye out, baseball is always full of surprises. And that's gonna be a wrap. From Julio Rodriguez's potential for a second half surge, to Matt Olson's swing reset, and Adolis Garcia's quest for consistency, there's still plenty of baseball drama ahead. Remember, even the best can hit rough patches, but the season isn't over just yet. Stay tuned for thrilling comebacks and surprises as these all-stars look to turn things around and make the rest of 2024 unforgettable. And don't forget to subscribe to Baseball Buzz.